What's up boys and girls, it's so me, Fox and Romeo, and I welcome back to I Let's Play Firewatch. Maybe we were having a nice conversation, and I'd just be spoiling it. She is just talking about the, okay. you know, the one night I called, I talked with Julia, and she's saying I'm, it's a dream. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Javier. Oh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And <sighs> for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here, I lied, and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over ten years. Damn. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. <sighs> I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Yeah, this is mine. Just gotta close that. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Damn, a long time later. Almost ten weeks later, actually. Oh shit, a fire! Front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah. Really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. Oh, that's where she lives. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Okay, let's do this. So no ideas, huh? Uh, oh, shit, well, too late. we should just call it the big fire if we think it's going to be. The big fire. Yeah. Well, that is practical. Always my goal. I'm actually amazed we've never used that name. Sometimes the best names are the most obvious. The big fire it is. Go to move so there's this creek down the hill, and um. You know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the That's size of your head. Action. You'd like it there. I should reply fast. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just. Get lost. How do I get there? Yeah. Okay, let me look at my map. Here. Reply. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but... I wish I was over there. 
I wish you were too. <sighs> we could sit outside. We could talk. We have these radios. We could, um, you know. What? Sexy what could we do? Time. Well, let me tell you. Okay, that's right. I couldn't do anything. I wasn't supposed to go there. So, the fuck do I have to go? You're going fishing without a license? It's yep. one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to oh, eat. Oh, look at this blurry... Oh, I won't tell anyone oh, yeah. you're a poacher. Oh, that's a shame. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? Sure. There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um... You know, oh, I think sometimes tracks. it riles up the wildlife. Huh. Problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Come on, please. Oh, what's this? Ugh. Can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the... Uh, D, I found a clipboard down here, and I, uh... There's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. The fuck, dude? Henry? I'm gonna fuck you up with my... I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms. What the fuck? Holy shit. I did not expect that to happen. Are you there? Yeah. What happened, Henry? I got I, knocked in the head. I just... Oh, I shit. got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You Go found ahead. a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Shit. Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start north hiking that way now. Lake. God damn it, my head. Are you are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Look, I know what I saw. Hey, it was our words with initials for our names, H and D, clear as day. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer... Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie, taking notes and talking to God knows who. What the hell do you think is going on at this place? He's listening to us right now. following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable, Henry. They You're seem to me. forget that. All right, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also... I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Ugh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. I'm safe. Sure. Somebody built something up here. Whoppity Meadow. Let 
Let's see. Yeah, there's a fence. What is it? Whoa, Delilah, there's a big chain link fence between me and the meadow. I, I don't think I can get past it. Uh, a fence? Yeah. How big? Big. It goes off in both directions. Dude, you can climb this easily. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. Oh, That'd be fuck exciting. Your shit. Yeah, we'll see about that. Okay, um, I've, I've given it the good college try. Uh, no dice. Oh, shit. I, I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Where do I have to go? Look for the controlled burn south of Ruby River. Where is Ruby River? Ruby River. Scout camp. I need to go, wait. Control burn south of Ruby River. I need to go all the way over there? Damn. Okay, let's do it that one. It's to the um, southwest. I did say more east. So yeah, to southeast. Um. Could probably just go up here. Go back to our uh, lookout post first, and then we'll see what we do. <laughs> yeah, if you guys ever catch me watching this way, that's because uh, that's my second screen. And I'm just checking like the time or if I think something's behind me I can see my own face cam in the corner. Because sometimes my mom walks in. I mean I'm wearing my headphones so she doesn't really like knock or anything hey, because she I knows around. I can't hear it Things anyway. Seem normal with everyone else. Should we call the cops or the forest service and, and let them know this is going on? Don't you think that would sound, you know, crazy? Yeah, it is crazy. We have to tell someone. Tell them what, Henry? Tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? I don't know. Tell yep. them we're being bothered or something. Henry, I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo to my bosses, they are never going to let me come back out here. Do you understand that? All right. I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hello! Okay, almost up there. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. No, I don't like either. feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that... If anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. Yeah, this could have been going on for a long time. I'm sure he's fine, Delilah. 
mean, don't you think if this started happening to them, he or his dad would have said something? I don't know, Ned. Maybe it's, it's a weird it is guy. one of them. No, nobody is that weird. The moment you hear someone in the bushes or get punched from the shadows, you're getting your boss on the phone. Yeah. Brian is fine. I hope so. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, let's just go up there. Check some stuff real quick. I know what to see if we can figure out this fire table. Okay, nothing broke this time. Um, fire finder. No, can't do anything with it. Okay, so then that's it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. It means a lot to me. And see you next time. Bye.